Que, bonjour, hi, hola. My name is Bianca Gonzalez and I'm a second year master's student in language education at the Department of Integrated Studies and Education at McGill. My project is currently being supervised by Dr. Mir Kalan. Um, I had been an English language educator for more than 10 years in California, the south of France, and more recently in Quebec, Canada. And then I decided to back, go back to school. So I'm currently a full-time master's student. I'm also a research assistant with my supervisor, as well as an assistant project coordinator with the local indigenous organization, Wakakoni Mobile. So a bit about my um, personal investment in research. Uh, I grew up in Southern California in a predominantly Latinx neighborhood at a time where there were really strong English only language policies being implemented. Um, and I can now see how this brought discriminatory monolingual ideologies to the forefront of educational institutions by, for example, uh, limiting, limiting minoritized students' access to resources in their mother tongues. And overall, this kind of brought about feelings of shame and or rejection with regards to one's language, culture, culture and heritage. Um, I know that this was the case for myself and I think this was the case for um, many of my peers and that this phenomenon happens in other places in the world. So, um, however, I, I did have the privilege to go to school, study languages, learn um, my family's languages, French on one side and Spanish on the other, and then ended up teaching languages and here I am. So I hope that my research can contribute to bringing to light less harmful, um, more transformative, creative and culturally uh, sustaining ways of engaging with language in and outside of schools. My master's research focuses on the language and literacy practices of three singers of Montreal's music community. Um, these singers identify partially or fully as women and um, sing in part in quote-unquote non-official languages of Canada. I am very interested in understanding how art production and in particular songwriting and performance and community, um, how does this create space, how does this create um, possibilities for organic engagement with language and literacy practices, and how can we as educators and researchers learn from these artists? Um, researchers uh, have been reconceptualizing language as repertoire, taking a step back from a focus on purely linguistic components and shifting to look at um, semiotic modes that we need to make meaning. So this includes spatial elements, embodied elements, uh, emotive elements as well, and, and much more. Um, but despite the shift, we know that um, racially and linguistically minoritized students and their language practices continue to be uh, pushed to the sidelines of dominant educational, professional, and cultural institutions. So I hope that by better understanding the rich language and literacy practices of these artists and singers, um, that this project can contribute to expanding the conversation of what it means to make meaning, or what does it mean to communicate, and what does it mean to create community in settler colonial and monolingual. If you want to know more about this project, feel free to contact me via email.